the VT range, I don't know much about it, so perhaps you can give me an introduction into this model. Yeah, it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you. Uh, the VT series is a vertical pickup shaft turning machine. So we have two sizes. It's a VT2, where, where you can machine parts of a maximum diameter of 100 millimeter and a maximum uh, workpiece length of 400 millimeters. Then we also have a, a bigger size, it's called VT4. And the VT4 has a capability to, to produce parts of a maximum turning diameter of 200 millimeter up to a maximum turning length of 630. 600, that's quite a long way. So how do you stop the deflection? Yeah, first of all, this machine comes in standard with a, with this, uh, with a steady rest. And also if you want to machine uh, bigger parts, especially this is the case for the bigger VT4 with 630 millimeter turning lengths, then definitely a lot of customers are using a steady rest, which is optional available. And it's a twin turret machine. Is that equipped with a Y-axis? Yeah, both turrets in standard have 12 positions uh, fixed tools, but you can also definitely order it with uh, live tools and uh, C-axis, as well as optional also with a Y-axis. What are the other advantages having two, uh, two turrets? First of all, you can do two sides simultaneous machining, which reduces your cycle times uh, and also increases the efficiency of the machine. So this is a very big plus uh, or a very big highlight compared to single turret machines. And secondly, uh, a big advantage is the turrets are also responsible to grip the, the raw part, put it into the spindle and the, the other uh, turret uh, picks up the, the finished part and pu puts it on the other side of the machine. So also the material flow is done by the turrets. And if we talk about the build of the machine, what's the base construction and is it linear machine? We are following the same EMAC philosophy, which we are also following for all the other machines. So first of all, uh, the basement of the machine is done uh, out of polymer concrete called Mineralit. Mineralit has the big advantage that uh, it has good capabilities to absorb vibrations. And also the uh, rigid design of the machine is also standard for the, the VT series. So we have linear guideways, very strong linear guideways. We have a direct measuring system. Uh, in, in standard, which also ensures high accuracy of the machine as well as uh, high long-term accuracy, which is the most important feature for being successful in automotive industry. And I know these machines are very thermally stable, so how is this achieved? First of all, sta EMAX standard is that all the uh, spindles, which by the hands are, are all uh, direct-driven spindles, so this is also EMAC philosophy fee. We are not using any mechanical spindle, motor coupling spindle concept is a no-go for EMAC, as well as belt-driven spindles. So we are always following the concept of high-torque uh, direct-driven spindles, and they are in standard water-cooled, same to the turrets. So that's why uh, we can also ensure a high accuracy uh, also in combination with our direct measuring system for the linear axis and also long to high long-term accuracy. And I know you have a lot of success with this machine down to the automation system. So what is it that makes the automation system so good? Yeah, first of all, the easy material flow. Uh, normally on the left side you have the raw material uh, on the old conveyor. On the right side you have the finished parts on the old conveyor. And uh, in standard, free of charge, you get a machine where the material flow is included. The left turret picks up the raw material, puts it in the spindle, and the finished part is picked up by the second turret, is put on the finished uh, 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 O-conveyor belt. So this, first of all, is very easy, uh, uh, or quite an easy solution for the customers to, to, uh, to, to come from the raw part to the finished part. And secondly, now with our newest generation of the VT series, we also have a tunnel. Uh, in the back of the machine, so between machine as well as e-container, e electrical cabinet, there is we left some space so that we can easily include our own automation system called uh, EMAC Track Motion. And why would you use Track Motion? Is that to combine machining strategies, more than one machine? You're absolutely right. We can combine uh, different kind of VT machines. So if customer has a, a, a big batch sizes to machine, then definitely he has to add a, a second or a third machine. But you can also, and this is quite unique uh, within uh, the, the, the tool machine industry, you can also add different kind of other technologies like uh, gear hobbing, roll chamfering or chamfer cutting. And then you get a very uh, efficient, highly productive line 
uh, a combination of different kind of EMAC technologies and from only one supplier. This is, I guess, the biggest plus which we can offer.